Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100. And uh, before we get running here, I uh, just want to say thanks you, thank you all so much for uh, coming along with me and joining with me here on the road. And uh, it's been great to have you all along and just uh, enjoying everything that goes on here in Vein uh, with Eva and everything along the way. It really means a lot. So thank, thanks, guys, for uh, joining up. Um, so today we're going to be running Fion and uh, the Argent Wolf Kingblade, and it's going to be a lot of fun since we'll be using uh, Ephemeral Refrain and Bridge to Glory. Now, uh, our damage here is at 2238. With uh, Bridge running, we'll get another 707 added here, so we'll be almost at 3000. And then when we have Eva joined up with us, we'll get about another 350 or so, and uh, we'll be up over uh, 30, we'll be at about 30. 299 by the calculations now to get to about 3300 with uh, other regular buffs and such um, all you would need to replace here would be um, uh, overdrive and offensive order but since offensive order requires a fortitude of s uh, you can't really get there on too many blood codes um, so all all you would be left with here would be overdrive and adrenaline and in two gifts to get there uh, you wouldn't be able to get to 3300 with adrenaline and overdrive as uh, the max you could get with that would be 3077 uh, with with what we have set here and so you wouldn't you wouldn't be able uh, to get that high so with these two gifts you can actually get higher than you can with the average uh, regular multiplicative buffs um, but as soon as you start stacking overdrive onto this like let's say we got rid of hasten and cleansing light and we put those two gifts here adrenaline and overdrive you would uh, send your uh, uh, damage scaling uh, much much higher because remember how uh, damage multipliers work they uh, operate on the base value then or uh, they either operate on the base value and then add to the entire value or they operate on the physical and then they add to scaling so uh, keep that in mind now what we're going with here with Fion, we're right under the 125 halfway mark here. So we're still able to maintain our uh, normal mobility. And you see here, if we go up to the fortified version, we do get a little like five more light value and stuff. But we go over that halfway mark of 125 by 0.4 units of weight there. So not ideal. So we'll stick with the uh, intensified noble silver here. And uh, this will be a lot of fun. And uh, let's uh, let's uh, head on our way here. And uh, the nice thing is, we'll be we'll uh, we'll be able to have a whole lot of damage overall. Now, uh, remember, Thunderbolt Impact is a uh, 4.8 multiplier times your light value. So we'll be doing about 7,000 uh, damage or so uh, whenever we get into uh, different fights here. Whoops. Uh, okay. I guess let's just go ahead and kill this guy. I was gonna go try and go for some. Uh, I was going to try and go for some Icor there, but uh, not the case. And here we can just uh, literally just delete dogs um, e easily, uh, no real uh, problem there. So this is literally just going to be, you know, a lot of fun, just a relaxing, nice uh, bashing of our way through the, through the area here. And uh, it won't be uh, too much of an issue for us. And the nice thing is, is that when we get all of our Icor up and running here, We'll be able to have quick mobility. We'll be able to have uh, basically infinite. Um, oops, good job, Eva. We'll be able to have infinite uh, stamina and everything because of red shoes and so on and so forth. So it will be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun here uh, as we get going. So good, we got everything under uh, gift extension there, so that's very, very nice. No now we just have to watch out for uh, Sword Boy here, and uh, we'll. Uh, oops, we'll uh, make sure we. Uh, stay away from him as much as we can now we do have to uh help eva out here because uh unfortunately she's pretty uh weak to all these folks and uh we'll we'll uh definitely have to keep an eye on her so she can heal herself and everything otherwise uh, we're going to be in a bad way now we're not going to cheese um the boreal brute this time we're just going to let him uh do what he's oops we're just going to let him do what he's going to do and uh, we'll, we'll actually fight him uh, head on this time. So that'll be nice uh, to see uh, how, we, how we fare against him overall. And uh, you can see here that even though we did get hit once or whatever, uh, we're definitely going to go on our way here. We're not going to rest up or anything because um, we do want to make sure that we have enough I-Core um, for, for each of the events because uh, 
if you don't have the I core, you can't you can't go for uh, your partner. Now, Dragon Lunge, uh, remember, it has a uh, one and a half multiplier times your physical on the first strike, and then a three times multiplier on the second strike when you come down out of the air. So uh, keep that in mind. And it's cool that we have uh, quick mobility with this set. Um, and let's go for Eva while we can. Very, very nice that we have uh, quick mobility overall. Okay, and uh, good. And then we'll go for uh, a mobility enhancer here. Now we only have a little bit of time left for, uh, um, uh, what is that, Bridge to Glory. So let's, oh, whoops. Somehow we uh, caught him and then uh, we didn't catch him and I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Okay, we'll go for a uh, this and then we'll go for a Dragon Lunge. Good, and he's gone. So pretty easy fight there uh, with this big boy. Um, nothing really uh, too uh, devastating on his part. Uh, we're able to kind of put him down very, very fast uh, overall. Okay. And uh, again, the uh, quick mobility is uh, really helping us out there uh, for sure. And we'll get bridge going. So now we are up at our full 32.99, which is very, very nice. So you can see that uh, this is just a, a lot of fun, a, a pretty relaxing uh, set here. It's and again, if you don't get hit, obviously, because uh, most of these fellas do slash damage or pierce, which is exactly what we are weak to, right? Um, unfortunately. But uh, we don't really have any restrictions on us one way or another. So we'll go ahead and rest here uh, since we have, uh, you, know, you know, everybody um, below us uh, on the way running up here is kind of out of our hair. And all we have is uh, these folks. And uh, we'll, we'll just kind of take our time through here and make sure that we are, uh, you know, treating everyone, uh, giving everyone the, the most uh, wonderful possible treatment we can possibly give them. So uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take our time and we'll go through each enemy and we'll just enjoy ourselves as, uh, uh, as we, Eva and I uh, take on the ridge here. <laughs> and it just makes for a, a great, 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 great fun way to uh, slaughter your way through the ridge here um, because sometimes the ridge can be uh, pretty overwhelming uh, overall but uh, if you if you simply just uh, smash your entire way through here um, everybody just kind of disappears in front of you and I know the Argent Wolf King Blade is kind of meant to do that but uh, that's that's okay um, it uh, it really does what it does well and uh, there's there's nothing there's nothing quite like it Go away. Oops. Oops. And I couldn't dodge. I was staggered there. Okay. Unfortunate. But uh, at least we have Cleansing Light there to uh, bring us back. And we'll just put this boy down. And now having Double Gift Accelerator makes uh, Dragon Lunge come out so much faster. I guess Eva killed this guy. Uh, killed a doggo. And uh, that is where, that is where uh, a Double Gift Accelerator comes in exceptionally handy. Oops. Okay, and we'll go for, we always need to be going for our backstabs here, so that really, really helps us out. Let's see how Thunderbolt Impact does, 66-22 is pretty good overall. So uh, let's go for uh, Gift Extension, and we'll uh, head on over here again for this boy. Whoops. Okay, he's going to do that, so we can go for this. Yep, oh, okay. And we'll go for a backstab here so we can... Uh, get uh, maybe a Thunderbolt impacting or something uh, different here. Okay, and we'll just uh, continue to backstab him until we can get a uh, Dragon Lunge here. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. It kind of worked out uh, overall there. Uh, definitely helps to have all of your Icor up and running at full potential. I guess Eva killed this fella. Excuse me, Eva. And uh, we'll head on down the uh, other side here. Now there's no real reason to be doing this, right? It's just uh, it's just a lot of fun, and uh, it uh, gives me more time to play with this build and with this setup um, because this is actually just that fun um, to be able to uh, you know put everybody down insanely quick and insanely hard. Uh, hello. There we go. Okay, and uh, this fella is gonna go down uh, hopefully here pretty quickly okay well anyways uh we did we did good enough on him there's the other guy and we'll go for a couple backstabs here 
just so uh, just so we can have uh, the Ikor available to us um, at the different sections. And uh, Dragon Lunge is kind of amazing in and of itself, uh, regardless of, of who you're going for, um, just because of the fact of how uh, overwhelmingly devastating that uh, four and a half times multiplier is for your physical damage. Oops, I shouldn't be running. I forgot. Okay, and let's go ahead and get Bridge going and Cleansing Light so we don't run out of uh, stamina here. And we probably should go for some kind of uh, regenerative drain or something like that. Um, but, uh, oh, oh well. <laughs> it still it still works out uh, really, really good in our favor here uh, to be going for what we have. And uh, having quick mobility uh, with this kind of power is uh, kind of unfair. Uh, that's fine because uh, these guys... Whoops. Whoops. Oops. And as I was going to say there, uh, you can see that these guys can kill us in one hit if they want to. Um, and so uh, I kind of don't see it as being unfair, uh, just because of the fact of how much power they have. Uh, we have to kind of match them with an equal amount of uh, devastating power. Now hopefully this guy can... Whoops. Okay. He was dead. And I'm dead. Okay. Too bad. I was uh, going to try for the parry there, but I, uh, I got it uh, completely wrong. So that's, uh, that's when it fails. <laughs> Is when uh, is when you try to do something uh, flashy, but uh, that's okay. Now the uh, reason this is so great uh, is because the Argent Wolf Kingblade has the uh, heavy, the regular heavy attack, which uh, gets all of your I core back, while at the same time doing unbelievable damage. And it has a gift trigger as well, which scales off of your uh, your light value, uh, which is really really great. That you can uh, have something that scales off of light value you have something that scales uh, just off of uh, the regular heavy attack and uh, you, you actually get to be able to use um, your gift trigger with it, which is really, really nice. Okay, so let's go through these fellas again. Okay. Uh, just because of the fact that uh, it's, you know, kind of a, a rite of passage to uh, go, go through these fellas and uh, give them a chance to... Whoops. And uh, give them a chance to... Um, remove our haze, but uh, whoops, we got uh, doggos, and you can see the uh, the gigantic wide sweeping strike that this uh, that this blade does is is absolutely bonkers in how wide uh, around it goes, and you experience that uh, when you fight the uh, the Argent Wolf King, uh, the Skull King, uh, you absolutely encounter that uh, huge sweeping strike uh, and it's very unfair but it's also unfair to the enemies here as well so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and skip those fellas over there for now and uh, we'll just continue on our way so we can go uh, grab up our haze here and stuff and uh, we'll continue on Thanks. the ridge of frozen souls is a uh, wonderful place that you can actually try out a whole bunch of different builds um, be just because of the fact of the uh, the um, area how it has all of these edges around you can try knockdown builds you can try all kinds of weird wacky crazy things um, that uh, you typically wouldn't uh, normally go for okay there we go and uh, this is a lot of fun also to go for some of these um, you know high powered uh, heavy hitting kind of setups here to uh, go for each and every enemy and lightning does a uh, pretty okay here in the um, in the ridge and uh, you can see um, just kind of how it how it does versus this fella here if we go for triple impact. So 6620 is about just about half his health, uh, not quite half his health, but it's uh, it's good enough that um, that you can see just how uh, nice it is to be able to um, you know go for the uh, damage. Oops, oops. There we go. And uh, let's go for uh, Cleansing Light, and then hopefully we can uh, go for Eva here. Oh, well, not if uh, Bridge is over and such. Okay, let's get him excited. And then we'll hide behind this thing. And then uh, he'll he'll do more icicles. Oh. Oops, okay. We both missed each other. That's unfortunate. Let's try for some backstabs here. Oh, 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 oh. Now, if he touches us, we are literally dead, like, within seconds. Okay. Let's go for a launch here. And uh, that'll help us uh, get 
get him launched up so we can uh, get him into uh, get him out of his uh, um, uh, ice armor state there. Now because we don't have um, whoops, I was gonna say because we don't have um, uh, what is it um, our ability here to uh, get his ice armor off. We're just gonna have to uh, deal with it as is. Okay. There we go. Ouch. And that's uh, that's the real problem with this. Now, if he does roll, he's a dead man. Okay. There we go. And uh, off he goes off to oblivion. So um, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the dangerous part there. We didn't have much problem with the first guy uh, because we were able to keep him out of his ice armor, and uh, and we were able to completely, completely, completely overpower him. Whereas uh, the second, oops. Whereas the second guy here, uh, he definitely. Uh, came in to overpower us there a little bit, um, but not too bad overall. Now we do have uh, a couple of options here. Uh, we can heal and rest and uh, go for some backstabs here before we get into the fight with Oliver, just because of the fact that uh, we need at least 20 to go for Eva, um, or we could have just uh, continued on. Now it's going to be better for us here um, and, our, and our ego if we... Uh, <laughs> Go ahead and fight the Boreal Brute again, just to uh, just to um, have some fun with him and uh, see see how he goes. Oops, his uh, his attacks are faster than my uh, parry, which is absolutely bonkers, crazy that he uh, that he hits that hard. No, I don't want that, doggo. Okay, okay, good, and we can go for another backstab to put him into uh, kind of a, a restand state here. Good. And uh, we'll go for the heavy attacks. There we go. So see if you get him out of his uh, stagger state or out of his uh, um, uh, ice armor state, you can put him down actually really really quickly and pretty easily overall. And uh, he he doesn't really pose too much problem. But as soon as he gets that ice armor up, uh, you're you're completely hosed almost. So uh, it's really in your best interest to make sure that um, that he. Uh, definitely gets not into the ice armor state or you bring uh, either a bunch of crush uh, weapons or a bunch of fire uh, a bunch of fire uh, buffs as well so uh, crush and fire will knock his uh, ice armor off but uh, slash won't do anything really okay so we'll push him off the edge and then we'll go for backstabs on this fella now we need at least three a minimum of three backstabs here there's one or, or at least um, a charge drain, and I guess we could go for a charge drain here. There we go, so there's two, and uh, hopefully we get another one. There we go, so there's 20 now. So we can now uh, run into the Nikola fight, no problem here. And uh, while we while we get ready for that, uh, we will need um, a little bit of help here from our uh, best friend, uh, Blood Sacrifice here. And uh, since we won't really be doing uh, too much healing, hopefully, during the fight. Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, how much i or whatever, or healing or whatever we use, uh, um, just because of the fact that uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay in, inside here, uh, for, for the most part. Okay, and uh, let's go for a couple of these things here. And uh, um, gift extension is over, and that's okay. So yeah, it can be it can be a lot of fun uh, running the ridge here with some of these uh, wackier, crazier, uh, heavier setups and such. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Good. And uh, we can just go for the uh, heavy attack here. We'll go for. Oh whoops. Okay. I was gonna say let's go for a um, dragon lunge here. There we go. And you can see that it's uh, really helping to have uh, the amount of damage that we do. But uh, now that we're uh, out of that uh, phase there, uh, we're going to have to uh, really, really, really watch ourselves here. And uh, since we're doing uh, slash damage, that's uh, really, really bad versus Nikola. Okay. And let's go for... Oops. Okay. There we go. And that's the best attack that we can go for is the... Uh, is the heavy attack. Um, oh, okay. And that hit me still. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Nope. Wow. Okay. And hopefully we can uh, outlast him here. And, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> He's just gonna take off and uh, kill me in one shot there. So you can see that, uh, yeah, we we can we can dodge most things, but uh, when he does the invincible explosion upwards, um, and we're too close to him, uh, we just continue to take the damage over and over and over. But uh, doing slash versus Oliver is, you know, a, a complete uh, worse horrible idea. Um, and you can see that uh, during during this engagement here, um, it's definitely not in your best interest to go for. Uh, any kind of slash, um, but uh, you definitely want to go for uh, Pierce Fire, and since we're doing completely none of that, uh, it makes uh, it makes a little bit of a difficult uh, kind of a run here with all of, with uh, Nicola. Okay, and uh, we'll go for our charge here. Good, and uh, we'll let him do that, please. There we go, and uh, now we will be up and ready to go here. Okay, perfect. And uh, we'll go for a uh, blood up? sacrifice. Good. Yeah, I'm sort of geared up. At least we don't have uh, the cutscene this time. So that's very nice. And we don't have to worry about that or wait for that. So uh, you could see that uh, we were able to get up uh, pretty good damage on Nicola uh, in the uh, beginning there. But, uh, you know, he just uh, absolutely um, takes off in phase two, literally. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's not a lot of fun. Okay, so here we go. Okay, and we'll pick up our Hades here. We'll go for some uh, I Core here. Okay. Good. And we'll go for the heavy attacks there. Okay. And the uh, dodging attack or the uh, running attack is a very good uh, attack to go for. Good. And we'll just go for some heavy attacks here since we can do those over and over and over. Okay. Good. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And then wait for the iframe dodge. There we go. Oh, he's going to kill Eva all the time because she's uh, very, very squishy, which is fine. Okay. But at least we have uh, infinite stamina here for a while. Oops. Okay. Now, hopefully, uh, he doesn't blast off again and kill us. Okay, we'll go, we'll go ahead and heal one here while we can. Okay. Oh, there he goes, taking half our health bar uh, in with it. There we go. Okay. Oh, please don't blast off again. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now we do have to play uh, a little bit uh, conservative here. Okay, and dodge. Ouch. And that is why, because everything uh, basically kills us in one hit. We're dead. No, no, we missed. How nice. Dodge. Oh, okay. Okay, and he just put my face in the ground. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nicola. The things you do. You're supposed to be a small child. Okay, but you can see here that uh, Ephemeral Refrain um, definitely is uh, not uh, doing us super favors, and this is kind of one of the uh, downfalls, is when you get here to something like uh, Nicola and uh, running a slashing uh, weapon-based uh, build setup, because if you go for... Um, if, if you're not going for a weapon build uh, ba weapon setup, uh, based on how much damage you're going to do in your weapon, uh, you can absolutely burn Nicola uh, very, very quickly. And we'll try for one more, um, one more go here, and then we'll go for a uh, gifted setup here, and uh, you'll see kind of, kind of what I mean uh, based on, um, based on how, uh, how uh, actual gifts would would land you some, some nice, uh, wonderful, tasty damage here on the biggest boy. And uh, it, uh, it goes very, very, very fast and very, very, very quickly uh, to make sure that he just uh, literally disappears and uh, that's the end of it. Um, but uh, I want to see how we can uh, make it work here without uh, taking kind of the cheat route through 
but uh, yeah, this is why you uh, definitely don't want to be doing slash damage versus Nikola in uh, the higher difficulties because he uh, he is a little bit difficult um, if you are going for the wrong uh, kind of weapons and the wrong kind of damage types. Oh, he's going for uh, delayed setups there. Okay, all right. Good, and he should go down here in a second. Okay, and if we can uh, get him into a uh, stagger state, here we go. Good, and we'll go ahead and continue wailing away on him here. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and heal. Good. Oh, come on. At least he didn't kill Eva this time. Okay. And it's nice to, again, have quick mobility here. Good job, Eva. Now you can see that Eva is staggering him uh, more often than not because of uh, fierce damage um, that she does. And uh, so there we go. We, we uh, actually got him got him down that time so that was very very nice um not a uh, not a graceful kill by any means but uh definitely um definitely one filled with uh, a lot of uh, anxiety kind of behind it um but the level itself uh the ridge of frozen souls is kind of a fun Thanks. joy to run um as it doesn't really do you know it doesn't really challenge you too much except for the boreal brutes but uh when if you can keep them out of their ice armor uh, this kind of a setup here is so heavy, hard hitting on them that uh, they can't they can't stand up under the uh, demolishing pressure of it overall. And so it, it's a it's a really good time to uh, get through there. So yeah, the Argent Wolf King Blade is uh, no joke. It's a uh, it's a really really good build, uh, really really good blade. And uh, uh, so we were up to thirty two ninety nine earlier, remember? And if we uh, go for the um, different sets here of uh, these two and we're up to 3077 like we said at the beginning uh, so that's why you can um, why you can uh, kind of reliably count on uh, gift gifting uh, your weapons here with bridge to glory going for Eva going for some light uh, in uh, some light uh, and lightning crush along the way here uh, as an as a as a nice AoE and then having some really really good single target damage in dragon lunge uh, you can put out about 10,500 uh, from this guy because you also have your scaling damage uh, that comes out from the gift uh, trigger at the end of um, Dragon Lunge, which is uh, about uh, 500, it's about a half a percent of scaling or so, and, uh, uh, sorry, like 5% scaling or something like that, and uh, it's not too bad overall, but... Uh, yeah, you can you can have some pretty good damage that comes out of uh, that comes out of this uh, when you're paired up with bridge and such. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Ridge of Frozen Souls here. Thank you for showing up and joining me on the on the road again. I, I really, really, um, really enjoy it uh, working with you guys here, uh, working through your different builds, working through your different questions, and uh, kind of how Ephemeral Refrain works in all of its wonder. So. Uh, next we'll be in the uh, uh, Ashen Cavern, and we'll kind of uh, be switching it up from there as well. Uh, uh, we had some pipes, we had some fun with the pipes, and uh, I think we'll, we're going to put the pipes down and we're going to maybe pick them up a little later, and then we'll uh, continue working uh, some some dark and some light here to uh, uh, show you guys just uh, the ins and outs of Ephemeral Refrain and when and where it shines uh, above and beyond uh, other other reasons, but uh, here is not uh, exceptionally one of them, uh, but uh, it can still do some really good stuff uh, because you have a really good light AoE and you have a really good uh, weapon to go with it, and uh, it, it works out pretty well in the end. So anyways, thank you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.